Welcome back to the channel guys. Um, we're amidst this uh, coronavirus. Today is uh, Friday the 27th of March. It's coming up to quarter to five. We're in Dubai. Um, we've got really not much, nothing better to do. Um, so I thought this car, the Audi Q5, has been sat here since 11th of January. It's not moved. Um, so the battery's gone flat. So I bought this uh, charger, which I'll show you shortly. And I want to charge the battery up. It was a brand new battery I bought when I got this car uh, back in uh, January. So we'll go to the back of the car, disconnect the battery, and we'll take it upstairs. So right, I'm going to unlock the car now. Um, there's no power going to the car at all. So I'm going to manually unlock, unlock it just to show you guys how dead the battery is. You can see from the dust on the car, it's been sat for a very long time. So I'll put this in, press start, nothing, no power. So anyway, I've got to open the boot now and uh, have to manually open the bag as well. Uh, where is it? Okay guys, I had a slight problem um, in the sense that the car does not have a key release in the boot to open it. And because the battery is dead, I can't get into it. So what I had to do, the camera here, I had to put the middle seat down crawl in between those two right and then reach here this cover was here like so and I put my flathead screwdriver under here popped open right and then you see this white piece of plastic thing here put the screwdriver in there done that it released the hatch immediately so that's that now to remove the battery battery Now we need to undo this silver foot. So I need to undo these terminals here, so I'll just go and get my um, handy spanner. Dan, can you just hold this down for me? I'll go and get the spanner. Okay, just hold this down for me. Alright, so we have a number 11 spanner I think it's going to be. So just undo this terminal here, and then this one here. This one's not turning for some reason. This one's down. This must be warped. I've got a smaller one. I think this one might be a number ten. Yeah, that's better. It's weird. One side's number 10, one side's number 11. Still not going. Thing. And that's my battery out. 
So do you want to just film this bit so we can see what sort of battery it is? Okay. Brand new it was, as you can see. I don't, it's gone flat because the car's been sitting here for such a long time. So we're going to take this upstairs and get it charged up. Okay. Well, um, these are all the nice buttons on the front. I'll work all that out shortly. It's got a nice rubber padding on it. Um, so bumps and scrapes when you put in the car and out of the car, you can hang it from, I guess, from inside the bonnet. What I've just seen is this. It's giving you all the stuff, all the basic instructions. So if you want to do a battery voltage test, you can do that as well. And then it tells you how to do the alternator test as well, which is something I'm going to do once I've got this battery fully charged and working again. And I can check my alternator because I've got a feeling it's my alternator that's not charging the battery. Um, so we'll have to do all of that later. Get ready now to see what's going on with this battery. But look, I'm on the, the battery clamps, positive, negative. So my positive terminal on this battery is here. So I'll put that on there. And then my negative is here. So I'll put that on this side like let me just switch them around a little bit. Okay, that's on. Let me see if this shows anything. No, no power going to it. So let's see what happens now. Okay, it's on. Can hear the current going. So it's showing, showing that I've only got two amps of charge on this battery. 2.9 volts, very low, 14.6 volts. Okay, let's do the test. So and we want to charge the battery. So let's see what the instructions are saying. So if I do the auto charge, it's now running and it will do its business. And we'll just leave it like that. So Let's see what happens. Now since the battery is completely flat and I've put it on the auto charge feature of this uh, thing, it's gone into a reconditioning mode. So it's going to recondition the battery and automatically charge the battery up for me. Um, so I, I think it's going to take a few hours or maybe a day, I don't know. Um, but we'll see, we'll come back to it shortly. Okay guys, um, it's been about four days now. The mode I've got the battery on right now is a like a trickle charge. Um, it's been on like this for like two, two and a half days. Um, when I, when I, in, in the first part of the video, you would have seen the battery on a recondition mode. After a recondition mode, it was unsuccessful. The, 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 this thing, uh, the charging unit told me that it was unsuccessful and it was gave me an error code. When I looked at the error code in the manual, it said, um, I need to try and recharge it again. Luckily for me, I stumbled across another mode in this, uh, which is to repair, right? So I put it in the repair mode and it was in the repair mode for just under 24 hours. Um, and it managed to charge the battery in full. Um, and it showed 100% and the voltage was around 13.6 volt. But right now, as you can see, it's showing the voltage on the battery 
at 13.4 volts and what it does on the trickle charge is every now and then it uh, stops charging it um, it puts a load on the on the battery um, and then lets it sit see where it comes down to so it's come down to 90 percent from the last time it done that and uh, it's sitting at 13.4 volts so i'm quite comfortable with that so what i'm going to do now is uh, disconnect all this and take it back downstairs uh, put it back into my wife's car and hopefully it will all be good as you can see look just now it's switched to 100 percent it's put a load on the battery it's registering at 13.5 volts now the battery is 100 percent perfect exactly what i needed it to be before i switch off what i'm going to do i'm going to show you one other mode in this all right so i reconnect this right now i can do a battery test on this yeah so we're going to go into the test mode and we want to check for percentage. So it's going to give me 100% at 13.5% with a symbol to say it's good to go. Right, I'm going to do another test now. That's for the alternator test, which we'll do later. We'll do this test as well, which will show me the cr cranking amps of the battery. Right, now the cranking amps of this battery, according to the battery, is 670. So I'm gonna set this to 670. So, go to 670. Perfect, set. It's gonna do a small test for me now. So it's 100% of its cranking amps. It's brilliant, right? exactly where I needed it to be. I'm going to do another test now on the battery, which is this one here. And it's telling me it's currently registering 13.4 volts. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. So this battery is now like a brand new battery, um, as it would have been when it left the factory with all the, the charging on it. So we're going to take this, disconnect this. I don't need the power lead. So what I'm going to do on the Audi, I'm going to test the alternator, see if that's working using the other test that we've got on here. So I'm going to run downstairs and I'll see you guys shortly. Okay guys, we're back at the car. So this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal on this side. So, and the battery's terminal, positive and negative need to be identified first. So to my left here is the positive terminal and to my right here is the negative terminal. Right, so this is what we're going to do, put it back in here. Right. Make sure it's sitting flush. Now, I've always been told, put the positive on first, which is what we're going to do now. So, that's the positive on first. Can you just hold your hand on there? I don't want it to touch the metal. Okay. So we'll tighten the negative terminal up first. I have got some contact um, spray, contact spray up um, they think in my apartment which I've forgotten to bring down with me. That helps corrosion and that sort of stuff. And I'll spray that on later. But I just need to get these terminals on flush. to life.
so perfect. Right, now to moment of truth, I'm just going to go and start the car up. We're going to do a battery load test as well. So I'm going to give you some instructions, Dan. Get in the car. You're not driving. Right. Rev needle. Just need you to bring it to 3000 when I tell you go, okay? I'm going to record what I'm going to do here. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this monitor up back to the battery and get some readings off it, see what the cranking situation is. So put that one on here if I can get it cranked on. working now so we're now going to do a test so I want to set set test set okay Dan can you run it to 3000 please or on to keep going until I tell you to stop stop okay now can you I'll t we need to turn the AC on for the next load test. So we'll get the AC all fired up. All right. So where is the fan speed? So that's the AC coming on. All right. Now what I need you to do now is take it to two, okay? Just keep it on two until I tell you, tell you to stop. Okay, and start. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Right, we'll try that one more time. Okay, Dan, get me up to 2,000 revs again, please. Keep it there. Stop! So we've got good readings both time around. Okay. I think that's us done with the battery. So I'm going to pack all this back up, how it was. Leave the engine running for a little bit because the car's been set for a long time. And then we're done. So. Let's 
Oh, it's running. Good. So there we need to set the clock and everything else to go along with it. That will we'll get done. Alright, cheers guys. See you in the next video.